The recent CES 2013 show saw the introduction of yet another 5-inch smartphone, the Sony Xperia Z. Together with the HTC Butterfly, both phones have become two of the most anticipated phones this quarter. Now, let's take a closer look. Due to the use of plastic, the HTC Butterfly is lighter than the Xperia Z. It also has a slightly tapered back, which helps it to sit comfortably in your hand. On the other hand, the Xperia Z has a more rectangular design with a frame made from glass fibre polymide, the same material that is used as a metal substitute in automobile parts. Like the LG Nexus 4, the Xperia Z has a glass panel on the front and back. According to Sony, the panel is made up of durable tempered glass which is stronger than conventional glass. It also has an anti-shatter film. The build and material combined gives the Xperia Z a solid feel. One point to note for the Xperia Z is the ease at which the glass picks up fingerprints and smudges. Both phones use micro SIM cards. We find the inserting or removing of SIM card easier on the Xperia Z than on the Butterfly as you do not require a pin to eject the SIM card tray. As the phones get larger, the placement of the power button gets more crucial. For the butterfly, the power button is located on the top center of the device, and it could be a stretch to use at times. The Xperia Z has its power button on the right side of the device, which we feel is easier to access. The key feature of both phones is the 5-inch Full HD display. The HTC Butterfly has a Super LCD 3 display while the Sony Xperia Z has a reality display with Sony Bravia Engine 2. Now, let's check out how text and video look on both phones. It's very difficult to determine which phone has a better screen and it ultimately boils down to individual preference. We feel the display on the Butterfly gives better color saturation and the Xperia Z has a brighter display which makes it suitable for watching movies with dark scenes. Both phones ship with Android 4.1 Jelly Bean and their own customized interface. We find the Sense 4 Plus on the Butterfly to be slightly more user-friendly. For example, you can customize 4 shortcuts on the lock screen for faster access. In addition, you also can place 4 apps or shortcuts on any home screen panel via the app and shortcut widget on the HTC Butterfly. The Xperia Z on the other hand offers only two shortcuts on the lock screen. We find the camera user interface on both phones to be clean and straightforward to use. As the Xperia Z you see in this video is a prototype unit, we are unable to compare the quality of images taken by the Xperia Z. Power management is a key focus for both phones as they come with built-in apps to maximize battery life. The HTC Butterfly has a power saver mode, which conserves CPU usage, reduces the screen brightness, disables vibration feedback, and turning off data connection when the screen is switched off. The Xperia Z has a stamina mode that will disable Wi-Fi, mobile data, and most apps when the screen is off. Two other points to note, despite the size of the screens, we have no problems typing on either phone in one hand. If you want a 4G LTE handset, go for the Sony Xperia Z because the HTC Butterfly does not support LTE. The HTC Butterfly and the Sony Xperia Z are the first two 5-inch Full HD smartphones to be announced. In the coming months, we will be seeing even more of such devices entering the market. For now, the HTC Butterfly will be in stores from 26 January. As for the Xperia Z, Sony states that it will be launched locally within the first quarter of this year. That's all for this video. To find out more about the HTC Butterfly and Sony Xperia Z, do check out our articles on hardwarezone.com.